So here in Nebula version 1.5, you got like this really nice menu here. So you got like the brightness controls and the volume and everything built right in here now. So you don't have to fumble with the glasses, which is actually really nice. You have the three doff and the zero doff, like the body anchor, the smooth follow. Mode switching built right in there. You could turn the stabilizer on and off and have the zero doff where the screen doesn't smooth follow or body anchor, which is a nice step forward because you couldn't do that before. You got the wireless screen cast in that's been there, display tuning. You can't see those things in here. That's why I have another video that actually shows some of that. So electrochromatic dimming, you got that. It says electrochromism. Makes you sound smart, I guess, if you say that. So you can adjust that right from here instead of using the glasses. Um, the whole menu just looks way better than it used to look. So that's a pretty big step forward now. Like I think it can go a little bit smaller. So you can set it kind of like, I guess, it's basically a side view. Because then before you could only adjust the location easily in body anchor. And then now it let you uh, adjust the location easier in smooth follow mode. So you can set it off to the side. And then when you set it off to the side, it's essentially a, a side view. Um, I mean, I'm playing with it right here, trying to get it to uh, work. I could imagine you would do dishes. Like, it'd be nice when we get the extra eye for the, the ones to where you can actually have a, a pass-through video. And then it would be... Pretty cool, you can see me washing the dishes, which I'm probably not doing. I like paper plates. So, uh, yeah, so now I'm on the One, that was the Air 2 Pro. So, with the One, you got the same menu. Here. Volume, like you can kind of swipe your finger up and down the screen and do it. But like it's a little finicky, you can, no, that's the best way to, the finicky way is like trying to tap it and drag it. It kind of works too. I'm not really sure the way they were. Like they should pick one or the other maybe. You got the same body anchor and the same smooth follow toggles here. They work pretty good. Like overall this update's definitely pretty good. But so the difference between uh, the, the one and the Air 2 or the... The air, I guess. I don't have those, but you got the same chromatic dimming slider, but you also have a color temperature adjustment, which does not show up on this recording. So, but like this menu takes over for the Air 1. Like you can't use an Air 1 menu anymore. Like when they're plugged into the beam, there's no, like you only have the features it gives you here. Like there's no ultra wide. You can't even try to switch to it. Hopefully they enable stuff like that in the future. Like when the eye comes out, they might have a, a nice update. So definitely looking forward to see what they do here. Moving the apps is the, the same thing. Like you can move them and then you got to hover over top of one and it'll push the other ones and actually let it stay there. If you just drop it without hovering over top of it, it'll jump back to where it was. It's all right. I think they could do something a little better with that, but like here, I'm trying to show you the, uh, I had to record it because it doesn't show up on the recording. The color warmth is, uh, it does something. It's not something that I mess with. I just leave it in the middle and it's fine. Like, I don't really, I mean, some people say that they need to adjust it. So that's fine. If you need to, it's there. And then, uh, so like moving the windows on here, you got the same, the medium and large, the same thing. And then, I don't think this app likes that. I was trying to go to uh, portrait and landscape. So you got the same drag the corner to, to make it bigger. All that stuff's exactly the same. But then, uh, once I stop playing with this. Then if you grab the window, you have the four axis or two axis or whatever you want to call it. Like it pushes out a lot further. And then once you push it out, you can actually make it smaller again. So you can go distance and size and make it incredibly small. 
So that's like a, I think they could do better for the Air 2, for the, the making it smaller for people with side view and stuff. I think they kind of stopped short there, but it's better than it was. But I think they could do it more like this for, for the one, like make it super tiny. Like there's no reason you would ever want it that tiny. I'm not 100% sure about that, but like whatever, more options, more better, I guess. And then, uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Uh, I was just looking at the broad view, an app that actually does switch. All that stuff is the same. Like, it's, it's kind of fun lassoing this thing around, but all that stuff is not changed. You bring the menu up over top of it. I liked the 3D menus that we had and the, the accidental software we got. So switching apps is the same here. Everything's still the same. And then the this though, the they changed this a little bit. This is the the multitasking menu when you swipe up. And it's like before it let you close the apps, but they didn't actually close, so everybody thought they were closing apps and then like when you went back onto the beam itself, you realized all your apps are still open. So now they've even got rid of the X, so you you can't even think you're closing apps. But like I'm trying to like scroll through it, and every time I try to scroll through something, it clicks on it. So this is like basically unusable. It just if you see your app there, I guess you can click on it and switch to it. But it's for the most part like basically unusable. They could definitely do something with that. And then the thing that I complained about a lot when they did it was the video clips in the photos app they blurred out the edges of them and it was just completely disgusting so they fixed that I, maybe they took my advice <laughs> or the other people that were yelling at them so like the video is completely clear here it's 3d obviously you're not going to see that here but the video is not ruined anymore so that's good like real happy about that i'll give them credit for that so i mean that's everything i gotta say i'm really happy with the update so far so I mean, I'll try to do videos like this in the future and follow their updates. All right.